Today we're taking a look at PDF Pen Pro 6, which is available from the Mac App Store. It's a great uh, application that's going to allow you pretty much to do anything you want with a PDF files on your Mac. That includes editing uh, text, OCRing documents, exporting to Microsoft Word, highlighting text, correcting it, adding links to pages, and even adding tables of contents to uh, existing PDF form uh, documents. Now let's take a look. This is in the Mac App Store, uh, but let's go ahead and open up PDF Pen Pro 6 and we'll show you some of the neat features that it can do. So here we are in PDF Pen Pro 6 and uh, as we open it up here it's going to present us with a file open dialog here. Uh, so we can go ahead and close that for now, but what we'll do is sometimes on the Mac or sometimes on your computer you want to uh, maybe even take a picture of a document using your iPhone. Let's say you've got a paper um, form that comes in the mail or a paper bill and you don't have a scanner but you want to take a picture of it. Well you can do that with your iPhone and uh, switch it over to your Mac, email it to yourself, and then you can actually open it and make it into a PDF document which is searchable uh, in PDF Pen Pro 6. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. So right here we've got a uh, screenshot uh, that we have in, basically just an image of a uh, form, or actually it's a water bill. We'll go ahead and say open that in PDF Pen Pro 6. So we'll go up here to File, Open, and we've got our screenshot right there. Now this could be any uh, picture that you've taken. Okay, so now it's gone ahead and opened the document. And it basically it's simply a, a dead data document. It's not even a PDF. What PDF Pen Pro is doing as it opens up that document is it's going to OCR the document. You see it doing that right now. And there we go. OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition and it's actually transforming that document into one that you can highlight and even copy text from. So taking that dead screenshot we can now highlight text. You can see here uh, we can select it. We can also highlight it. We'll hit highlight. You can see there. We'll undo that. We can even go in and correct text. Let's say we want to change uh, what it says here, $93.31. If we highlight that, we can go up to uh, Format and Correct Text. So here we've got that already transformed into text we can space here, we can change, we can say it's a hundred dollars let's say and that's that. So now we've already corrected that text. We can also change let's say our name right here. So we'll select uh, John Public here. We'll say format correct text and we'll say uh, we'll call it John let's see here We'll say John Doe. And we see there's a little mistake there. It's got a zero there in the name. We can get rid of that. And uh, that should be that. So you can see it's not perfect, but you can space here to get it back to uh, you know, looking in line with the other text. There we go. So we can really uh, P use PDF Pen to edit and create our document just like we want it. Let's look at another neat feature of PDF Pen Pro 6. This is uh, neat to use if you ever re have received a form, a PDF form, uh, either in your email or from a friend that you just can't fill in the form fields. It's just a dead document. Let's open up one of those. We'll go here to File, Open, and we'll get our form. We'll close out our water bill and here we have our form and it's basically dead data we can't 
we can't select any of these checkboxes. We can't uh, add any text to it uh, like we would want to in a normal form. What PDF Pen Pro 6 can do is actually convert this document into a fillable form that you can then fill in or send to other people. Let's go here to edit and we'll say create form fields for page. We'll select that. We'll hit OK. Now PDF Pen Pro is going to convert this document into one that we can interact with. We'll show you how it does that here when it's done. All right, looks like we've finished here. And you'll see a couple changes that happen uh, when this finishes up. There we go, we get our nice uh, indication that it's done. And we've got actually form fields that we can type in now. So you see how that works? It just created this form into an editable or interactable de document. We can also click our checkboxes here. Let's say there's a uh, form that you want to actually add to or add selectable boxes to. If you go up here into our menu bar uh, or our toolbar here, we'll say form tools. And here we can add an act actually add a new checkbox. Let's say we can just drag there and uh, what we'll do is we'll go back into our selection tool over on the left. We'll click here in text and we can say add soccer to that. Now it's going to be another checkbox just like these. So very neat that uh, PDF Pen Pro allows you to do that with PDF documents. Another neat feature is being able to uh, edit text or edit a document or even send a new doc a document to friends as a Word file. Why would you want to do that? Well, let's say your friend doesn't have PDF Pen Pro and can't edit a PDF document like you can. Well, if you send them a Word document, they're going to be able to edit that right in Microsoft Word. Let's do that now. Let's go to File, Export. It's going to ask us uh, which format we want to export to. We'll select Word and we'll hit Export. What PDF Pen Pro is doing now is it's actually uploading your PDF to Smile Software servers where it's going to be converted and then sent back to you as a Word document. Now this is encrypted data, but it, you know you just want to be careful as to what you send over. Uh, okay, so it's already done, and we can uh, save it to our desktop here. Open after saving is selected by default, so we'll say we'll leave that there, and we'll save our form. And now it's going to go ahead and launch Microsoft Word, and open up our PDF as a Word document. So here it is. So now we can go ahead and do whatever we want, editing in Word just like we always would. Now you notice here it's not exactly perfect. For example, it didn't carry over those checkboxes. But we can go ahead and add those in again if needed uh, to this Word document. We'll close that out. We'll go back into PDF Pen Pro. Let's look at another cool feature of PDF Pen Pro, and that is the ab ability to create a PDF that you can navigate through. I'll show you what we mean here. Let's open up a, a simple Bible story PDF. And you notice here it has a table of contents, but it doesn't uh, actually link to anything. There's no links. If we click on uh, these different chapter titles, uh, we can't link to anything within the document. Now we've already created links to show you what we mean for chapter 1 and chapter 2. So you notice that as we click on chapter 1 the, in the table of contents it actually goes to chapter 1 in the document. We can go to chapter 2 that same way. Let's create uh, that same kind of a link for chapter 3 which is on page 6 here. We go back to our table of contents and we'll go ahead and we can either go to tools page link here or we can click right on this page link icon in the toolbar so we'll do that we'll say click on that page link icon and now we're going to be able to drag our little box around where we want the link to be located and that's right here on this 
chapter three text. So we'll click that, it's gonna ask us what page that we want to link to. Here in this example, it'll be page six, and that'll go to page three. We'll go back over into our selection tool in the toolbar on the left, and we'll notice now we can click on three and it goes to page three or chapter three, chapter two there, and chapter one. I love this feature about PDF Pen Pro that allows you to basically do anything you want to be able to navigate through a document. You can also save this. We'll go ahead and save our document here. And now if you open this PDF in another uh, application, let's say on your iPad, it'll be able to have those same links right there waiting for you. Have you ever seen a, a PDF that looks like it should have a table of contents, but it doesn't? Um, for example, if we open this document in PDF Pen Pro 6, we see we've got an, a document that has multiple pages here. Uh, it's got multiple sections, Sydney, Fiji, Fiji and Sydney, but it has no table of contents to actually navigate through those different sections. In PDF Pen Pro 6, you can create a table of contents uh, right here within the, the document. We'll show you how to do that. There's a couple different ways. Let's go to our Sydney section. We'll go ahead and get into our selection tool. We'll select the word Sydney. Go up here to edit in the menu, table of contents, add entry. And you'll see here on the left hand side, it already added an entry into our table of contents with that highlighted word, Sydney. Now let's say we have a page here that we can't highlight uh, the text. For example, Fiji here, we just can't highlight this text. It doesn't allow us to. Well, that doesn't matter. We can go ahead and uh, go to edit, table of contents, add entry, and it's just going to put the page number. So it's page four. We can go ahead and change that to Fiji, hit enter, and we're done. Let's do the same thing for Fiji and Sydney. This time we'll add the uh, this page as a child of our Fiji section here. So we'll go up to edit, table of contents, add child, and you can see it, we're tabbed in here, and we'll say uh, Fiji and Sydney. So we can uh, close that, we can collapse it or expand that child. We'll go show you how this allows us to navigate now. If we click on the left hand side in table of contents on Sydney, we'll go to the Sydney page. Fiji, we go to the Fiji page. The child, Fiji and Sydney, will bring us right to page five. Uh, so really neat how uh, PDF Pen Pro 6 does that, allowing us to uh, create a document that we can navigate through with a table of contents. If you save that and you open it on your iPad, let's say in uh, a document or a PDF document reader app, it'll have that table of contents there waiting for you. So overall, PDF Pen Pro 6 is an awesome app on your Mac that's gonna allow you basically to do anything you want with a PDF document, whether it's uh, adding optical character recognition to convert that uh, image into a searchable PDF, highlighting text, correcting text, uh, creating forms, exporting to Microsoft Word, creating links to pages within the document, and creating a table of contents for that PDF. So we hope you like this review of PDF Pen Pro 6, and you can go ahead and check it out in the Mac App Store.